Okay, I'm Joe. I'm Joe Seeley. I'm one of the um, Enterprise Energy Advisors, and on the um, e-business program particularly, I'm one of the digital advisors. Um, I've actually worked with Enterprise Energy for over 10 years, so um, I know a, quite a few of the people here because I've worked with them, uh, but I've certainly worked with a lot of with, with um, Dares and the advisors here for a long time, so you're in good hands. Um, those of you that decided to jump in, and uh, I look forward to working with you. So today, um, I'm going to do kind of a whistle-stop tour um, over looking, thinking about and looking at some of the things that you need to be kind of mindful of when you're looking at technology for your business. Um, the first thing, uh, basically, there's a lot of change going on, generally, in technology. There's a lot of innovation, there's a lot of consolidation uh, in the industry generally, um, and it's quite confusing, especially when you first start business, there's a lot alongside running the business. Uh, and on the program particularly, we're going to try and make it as streamlined as possible and do it in, in steps, so you're not kind of um, too bump and boozled with things, hopefully. Um, but some of the things you need to think about um, are what we're going to talk about today. So if you're looking at your business and you're trying to understand how do I make a start on this, one of the best things to do is to take stock of what you've currently got. Um, a lot of the appointments I've just been to so far, they've got, say, a CRM system but not quite used it. They've touched with social media a little bit. Um, they might have a stop tape type system and not quite how to know how to use it or know that they need to get one. So what you really need to do is take full stop of what you've currently got um, so you can understand what you possibly need or what you're lacking. Um, the easiest way to do is literally just write a list of everything that you have got and everything you'd quite like to use um, and then when you meet with your advisor or when you just decide okay let's go out and investigate what's what you can then approach with some sensibility and you can identify the gaps. Uh, the other thing to really think about is to sort of really assess the processes in your business, how your business works, how do you actually physically do things it may or may not be the right way of doing things, but understand, okay, what is our sales process? What is our client process? How do we make orders on this? How do we do that? All the various aspects of your business, it's really worthwhile looking at and understanding what those look like to help you understand where the gaps are um, and help you understand what technologies might be able to help you to make it more streamlined, more efficient, and frankly link up with everything else in the business. Um, there's loads, <laughs> there's so much out there and there are many, many options, but the, good, the best starting point is to understand what your actual business is doing at this time. So it's a bit of an audit really, a review. Also the other thing, it's really good to speak to your employees, if you've got a team working around you or if you've got one other member of staff or a VA working with you who dip into parts of your system. Um, when we started, uh, when I started my I run a marketing company and I started that agency, our VA tapped into our CRM system, she had access to it. And she had so much experience, she was able to give us some guidelines on how better to run certain things. Just small things, nothing fancy, but it made a lot of difference. So for those of you who might have a team around you, they're doing the stuff day to day. They can probably see where you can do things better or more efficiently. So to kind of take that on board to help you to, to streamline your processes. And also tell you about any inefficiency. So when, you shoot, when you're sort of armed with that kind of information, it's then worth, and um, it's an opportunity to start doing your research to understand what's actually out there and what might be available to you. You might have been advised and guided to, do, to look at this system or look at that system. Have that list along everything else and just take some time to, to explore those systems and see if they work for you. And it can be quite hard to find that time to do it. I mean, I've got a situation where I need to read a particular thing. I just it's on it's on the right to, to, in my to do list to do it, but I, I know I need to do it to to understand why I invest in this thing. So it's definitely worth doing the research on all the CR or the, or the top CRM systems, for example, or the top systems to help you manage social media, or the top stock systems or whatever other things that you might be looking at. Uh, so find those platforms, other those applications and those um, solutions that help you, will help you with sort of your workflow, will help make things better and easier for you. I'm quite impressed with my cards, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> Families to do, <laughs> um, So, once you have an idea of 
what you might meant to be doing, what you think you need to be doing, and you're armed with some of the systems you quite like, you've got kind of a top, top one or top two or top three that's in your, in your budget. Um, what you need to start doing is prioritise the changes, because you can't do it all at once. It would be chaotic if you do it all at once. But you need to kind of almost do like a workflow plan of what comes first, what's your priority, what you must implement first, and what comes further down the line. And that's like a bit like our own to-do list, really. Just prioritise it so you can implement things in stages, so it's not too destructive to your business, so it's not too much of a learning curve all at once, um, especially if it's more than just you working on it, otherwise it can be complete chaos. I was just saying to Des that just before Christmas I did an interim role for, for a company. I'm not going to mention who they are, but they are a really exciting young company. And they did exactly the same thing, and it was scary actually because we've kind of stripped the staff we had to implement new systems all at the same time um, but also very exciting at the same time because they were you know determined this is how we're going to work this is how we're going to do it let's get it in place I'm obviously going to say to you one of the things to do with having all these key items in place is get some really sound advice about how you go about it to help you to have another sounding board and someone else who's got some experience in either implementing the system or being a kind of a neutral person that can help you to can see outside of you being very much in your business and looking in um, and a professional person that can, can look uh, outside of that and support you. Of course I'm going to say any one of us as an advisor can help you do that because we're all experienced in so many other different kinds of businesses but uh, it's always useful to have that sounding post and to have that other person, as I say, who's got the experience, who can say, consider this, consider that, how does that tie with that? Because sometimes you might be missing the completely obvious, you know, in terms of getting the, uh, uh, getting the right advice and doing things at the right time. Um, the, also, the other thing about having kind of a, a neutral person to help you implement these systems is that they can help you to kind of uh, write a mo roadmap to do it in the right kind of order, and to do it in, you know, with the right sort of priorities, uh, and help you reduce the disruptions and that sort of stuff. So really useful to work with us some sort of support. And the other really key thing is, once having decided to do this, is to work it into your budget. So you will have organised your kind of annual budget or allocated a certain amount for tech. It might be £100, it might be £1,000, it might be £10,000, whatever. But you need to allocate it once you fully understand what it is you're trying to do and what you need to do. You need to allocate a proper budget to it. No point penny pinching. Just do it properly. It will be an investment worthwhile. But you do need to put aside the monies to do what you actively want to implement to make sure you have the core capabilities to move your business on and to develop and to grow. And most of these systems are things to help you to grow. And the other thing I meant to say was when you're working with somebody that can help you to plan for this is they will often work alongside you to think much further than now. They'll be thinking next three years, next five years. And to take on systems that can kind of grow with you is also very important. Otherwise you could be in a situation where you're buying something and it lasts you five minutes and you have to buy again. So it's worth thinking in that way Um, having got these systems in, having earmarked something, have an allocated, allocated budget and then tentatively started to have that process of getting it into your business, you need to continuously monitor it, review it, have a way of doing that as well, don't wait a year later and find all the cracks, you know, just monitor it on a regular basis and build that into how you will uh, make changes and refine it. Um, and by reviewing it, re reviewing it, you can see how effective it is or not. You can see the bits that are working or not working and kind of tweak that. It's very, very early on, so there's not sort of horrible gaps in how, in, in your, how you run the business. Um, and you can also know in advance what further investment you might need to make. Realise that this is an ongoing process. Uh, when you have technology, technology itself is changing. Um, I was saying earlier that you know, in in marketing particularly, some of the systems when I started, my, my company's been there for over 17 years. When we first started, they were all separate. In fact, they weren't as they are now. They were kind of big, heavy, clunky things, and for bigger companies, now it's all come down, and all of us as smaller companies can access so much more. And also, all the smaller companies are consolidating. 
So what they're doing is um, they're bolting on onto their original offering services that are specific to small business because they are more agile, they can see that, you know, as opposed to you buying into big systems where you only use that much. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. right. So it's changing all the time, whether you're a big business or a small business. Um, so it's a bit of an occupational hazard, but just be aware that it's changing and it's an ongoing process and keep your ear to the ground and more importantly, keep across what your business is doing and what it requirements, what's, sorry, what its requirements are. So just in conclusion, technology is changing all the time, it's evolving rapidly and you know, you don't want to get left behind. Review, implement, embrace digital transformation and you'll keep ahead of the pack. Thank you. Thank you.